Ah, delicious drinks, something many of us may think about during the weekends in the summer months. And if you would like to imagine yourself sitting by the water, maybe in Hawaii, why not enjoy a tiki cocktail? If you're thinking just that, your prayers have been answered this morning. We have, of course, the cocktail guru, Jonathan Pogash, back. And as an added special treat, how cool is this? His dad, the tiki expert, Jeff Pogash. Come uh, on! Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. It's Welcome. a pleasure and dad. honor to be here. Nice to have Thank you here. Good Jonathan. to see you Always again. Always a pleasure, and I understand you need to be dazzle me or whatever that's called. Be Peace. flowery. Yeah, thank you. Whatever it's <laughs> yeah. called, I'm just going along for the ride. So I want to talk about your, obviously, father and son. Is that an enhancement for your relationship, the fact that you can get together, get creative? What does it mean for you guys to work together like this? Do you mean having a, is having a cocktail or two with dad an enhancement afterwards? Yes, <laughs> a, little, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been great, obviously. We've been doing this my whole life. Uh, and we trap we get to travel around and work together and it's amazing and we've been working together steadily for the last seven years right. since I retired from my corporate job what a nice uh, thing to be able to share with Jonathan I know. to have some fun to do some work to travel to be on TV what's cooler I never thought it would be possible but I love working with this guy fantastic my father <laughs> wants nothing to do with working with me I just like to put that out there let's get right to the drinks guys what yes. do we have up first so this is the classic Mai Tai I have um, some dark rum that I've added in here, orange curacao. Now you may be thinking of tiki drinks as being elaborate and a lot of stuff on top. Classically, the tiki cocktail is a very simple three to four ingredient cocktail that is nicely balanced, not too much hubbub going on. So this is some almond syrup in here. Dad, did you have any idea that when he was in college, he was working on this instead of studying? Yes, because he was a bartender. Ah! So I did know that, yes. The jig is up. He trained. The, jig is, the he jigger did. is up. <laughs> so uh, I've added some freshly squeezed lime juice. Now I'm gonna give it a oh, shake. It's a shake of palooza. Ah, shake of palooza. There you go. It's great yeah. cardio workout it's as well. It yeah. sure is. And a beautiful tiki mug. Oh, man. Right over here. How great is that, Dad? And this gets the... Shell. Shell. Spent shell. Spent shell. And this is the Trader Vic's version of the Mai Tai. Right. There's some controversy. Don the Beachcomber, who created the whole tiki movement, had his own version of a Mai Tai as well. Oh. But the one that we use most often today is Trader Vic's. Interesting factoid. And moving on moving, to drink number right two. On. So the Singapore Sling, uh, popularized at a hotel called Raffles Hotel in Singapore. This is the actual original version of it. So I have gin in my mixing glass. This is three quarters of an ounce of cherry hearing which is a cherry brandy right the juice of a lemon just squeeze oh, it sounds that like right a, in there a babbling brook a babbling brook <laughs> exactly <laughs> I've been called a babbling brook at times <laughs> uh, and shake a palooza number two uh, shake a palooza number two I think he's losing feeling in his arms <laughs> <laughs> and you can't really see the color in the tiki mug but it has this really nice reddish hue happening there and dad do you ever offer i keep calling you dad jeff do you, you ever may, you thank may. you offer creative suggestions is it a collaboration um not really sometimes <laughs> when it, it comes is. to oh, tiki is, cocktails and other areas that i know well then we will collaborate but most of the time i let him take care of the cocktails right and you like when it his. comes to tiki yes i get very involved that's right yes so the last drink so this is the port light Port Light Cocktail. Okay. I have some whiskey. It looks like it's a lot of whiskey, but it's actually just been diluting. To me, uh, it's in, not in enough. The, uh, to me, <laughs> this is uh, some homemade grenadine, which is just pomegranate juice and sugar. So I used Palm Wonderful juice and sugar. Uh, passion fruit juice. Throw that in there. A little bit of lemon. Give that a little shake. There it is. What do you have to say about the port light? Ah, the port light is from Tahiti Restaurant, which unfortunately doesn't exist. It was a, a palatial Polynesian paradise right. in Columbus, Ohio, of Beautiful. all places. And I know when I think uh, paradise, I think Columbus, Ohio. Oh, yes. <laughs> I do, too. Yes. It's a lovely city, and the two of you could not be nicer. Uh, we love spotlighting you, Jonathan, and a real added bonus to have you, Jeff, join us as oh, well. Thank you Thank you so much, much and best of luck with what you're continuing to do. Always thank a pleasure, you. my friend. We will Always be on delicious. Nantucket. We will be on Nantucket tomorrow night. Almost forgot to mention, we're doing a tiki cocktail class at Nantucket Culinary Center. So, NantucketCulinary.com. Look at us, the spectacle <laughs> trio right here. If you'd like to learn more all about what Jonathan and Jeff are up to, they're two gurus. What's not to love. Get the info at roadshow.com.